Hello everyone, I'm Andy Lowe from NHL Draft Central and today we'll take a quick look at my notes on 2021 NHL Draft eligible Isaac Beliveau in a 4-0 defeat against Victoriaville. The 6'2 left-handed defenseman finished the game with 0 point, a plus-minus of minus 2 and 4 shots on net. Beliveau strikes to the attacking zone here, coming from the bench and after gaining control of the puck, he fires a dangerous shot targeting the low glove. Great opportunity! On the man advantage, Beliveau displays decent positioning and puck distribution to be there as a passing option and quickly redistribute the puck to keep the play moving. On the power play once again, the Canadian defenseman showcases a bit of his deceptivity, faking a slap shot before sending the puck to his attacker for the setup. This move attracted two opponents to his shooting lane while clearing the space for his teammate. Here, as the play is turned over, Beliveau's first instinct is to make a pinch on the attacker before he receives the puck. But once he sees another opponent close to the play, he backs off. Beliveau makes his pivot and analyzes his enemy. He seems very focused on the puck and stays high, maybe to potentially cut the passing lane to the right winger. He always loves to step up against rushers to intercept passes. The problem this time around is that there's another passing option on the left and his man easily frees himself behind him. This 3v3 counter-attack just became a 2v1 because of his poor positioning and read. The left winger makes a quick pass back to his partner who gets on the breakaway and finishes the job. There were a few mistakes from his teammates too, but I would say Billy Vo is mostly responsible for this goal. On this cycle action, Beliveau makes a pretty great read as he receives the puck, finding his wide open teammate on the low circle. That said, with a bit of an unsteady puck, he takes a few milliseconds to complete his feed, which allows the defense to settle. He made the right play, just needs to have a better execution speed. On this rush defense, Beliveau crossovers to his left to block the passing lane on the zone entry, but instead gives a wide open lane to the middle ice. His partner on defense deviates the shot, but this is terrible positioning he showcased here, to allow his man to just skate to the slot. Here, Beliveau jumps from the blue line to take a snappy wrist shot. If the line is crowded, the shot lacks accuracy to be dangerous, finishing his patch right on the goaltender chest. Beliveau leads the breakout here, with the responsibility to find an outlet. He somehow sees a passing lane open up to his man here, and throws the puck all the way to the other end for the icing. Instead of trying the tough pass here, I would have liked to see him hit his winger, who could then have relied the puck much more easily to the middleman. Beliveau starts with the puck on this breakout, and with difficulties controlling the disc, his no-look pass gets cut in the defender's skate. The left-handed rear guard seems to have problems with his mobility and puck control. It's not smooth at all. He often loses handle on pucks and is forced to complete passes from tough angles. Continuing on the play though, Beliveau receives the puck again behind his net. Once he gets the puck, he isn't quick enough to make the simple pass. He is forced to make a backhand pass along the boards, which gets picked off. He gets a chance to redeem himself once again here. He looks at his teammate positioning and the forechecker coming over, but decides to rapidly fire the puck along the boards and the pass gets intercepted by the pinching defenseman. Beliveau had three opportunities to start the breakout for his team, but his poor puck control and decision making led to one failed breakout and two turnovers. If you can't make the simple outlet to start your team's zone exit, NHL teams will lose interest in you very quickly. Here, Beliveau can't control the disc, but his pass behind the net is secured by his defensive partner. Once the play starts moving, he actively looks to jump on the rush, and after the zone entry, finally crashes to the net in hope for a rebound. Beliveau owns excellent offensive instincts and won't hesitate to leave his position to support the attack. Beliveau's teammate wins his puck battle in the corner, allowing him to recover the puck. The right play here is to pass ahead to his left winger, but Beliveau can't process the play quickly enough and Victoriaville steals him the puck. On this quick counter, Beliveau could use a bit more quickness on his backward skating to completely block the passing lane, but he shows great reaction to cut the pass with his stick. He then pins his men along the boards. 
In the early third period, Billy Vaux has another opportunity to find an outlet to break out of his zone. He finds an open teammate, but his pass lacks accuracy and it's another icing. The outlet wasn't off by much, but you need to make those simple passes. On the power play, Billy Vaux takes a low wrist shot on net that gets deviated in front. The puck almost slips 5-0. On this 5v3 situation, Beliveau showcases his bread and butter, his puck distribution. He constantly makes brisk passes to set up teammates and put the defense on the edge. He's really surveying the blue line, moving to get into passing lanes and redirecting passes to open teammates. Against this zone breakout, Beliveau showcases a terrific reaction to cut the passing lane with his long reach. If he can gain position right away, he throws the puck ahead quickly after. Bilivo has made multiple splendid interceptions against rushers, thanks to his great instincts. Bilivo jumps on the transition here and exhibits his superb edge work to stay mobile and fluid against pressure. That said, he can't find his teammate entering the offensive zone, either due to a lack of vision or poise in control of the disc maybe over-focusing on controlling his puck rather than scanning his environment. He corners himself at the point and is forced to throw a low danger shot on net. On this rush defense, Bilivo does a good job to give the wing rather than the middle of the ice. I would have liked to see him close out on his attacker more aggressively, not giving him any space to maneuver. He puts a stake in the shooting lane very well though, disrupting the shot. Once more, here's a bit of what Bilivo brings to the power play. Quick, rapid, but simple puck distribution. Bilivo finished the game defending a 2v1 and decides to block the passing lane. His opponent scores on a buzzer beater. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.